Okay, and this is our last double replacement reaction and we're gonna put just a tiny bit, okay? So, I'm basically just filling up the bottom of the tiny beakers. I want as little as possible, you'll see why. So we have barium hydroxide and sulfuric acid. We okay, so we're gonna test barium hydroxide first. Okay, so that's barium hydroxide all by itself. Rinse this off. I'm gonna test sulfuric acid by itself, 0.1 molar. Rinse this off. Mm. All right. Now comes the interesting part, okay? So our directions tell us to uh, then hold the beaker with 0.1 molar barium hydroxide in the electrodes and add drops of the 0.1 molar sulfuric acid until the reaction is complete. Okay, so we should obviously see something happen. All right, so I've got my little dropper here for sulfuric acid. This is why I didn't want to add a lot, okay? Because you're gonna have to watch me put in drops. Okay, so here we go. I'm starting to add sulfuric acid to this solution. And if you can see on the screen, the solution is definitely changing color. We are absolutely getting a precipitate. Okay. Some more. The more I add, the more precipitate I get. Mix, 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 mix. Okay, do we see something happening with the light bulb? Hopefully. Do you see what's going on? The more sulfuric acid I add, the more precipitate being formed. Something is going on with this light bulb. Now you can see it's getting brighter again. Why, right? So the reaction was complete and now I'm adding in more and more sulfuric acid. And if I just dump the rest of sulfuric acid in, it gets super bright again, okay? Very, very interesting. So what happened was, okay, I was making a precipitate, right? I was basically taking the ions out of the solution which means I was making a strong electrolyte solution down to a weak electrolyte solution, down to a non-electrolyte solution. If I would have had exactly the amount of uh, sulfuric acid match my barium hydroxide, you would have seen that light go completely out. But then once I go past that midpoint and I keep adding sulfuric acid, then I'm adding more and more ions into the solution. So then the light's gonna get brighter and brighter and brighter. Pretty dang cool. I love science. All right. Thanks for hanging out with this lab. I hope you learned something. <laughs>